USGS, Science for a Changing World. My name is Dr. Lagna Torres Garcia. A woman with dark hair and a gray shirt that says USGS near a tropical sandy beach lined with palm trees, buildings, and calm blue water. Legna Torres Garcia, PhD, USGS Research Oceanographer. I'm a research oceanographer at the U.S. Geological Survey, St. Petersburg Coastal Marine Science Center. Still photo of Legna smiling in front of a sandy tropical beach and another of Legna underwater in scuba gear holding scientific equipment. Legna pointing and talking with two other scientists in hats and life vests on a boat driving by a fort on the edge of a tropical island. My work combines field observations with models to resolve hydrodynamics and sediment transport on coral reef line coasts and to predict their impacts on the coast. Aerial view of the Puerto Rico shoreline showing bright blue water, a sandy beach with many people, and lined with many homes and buildings on the edge of a green mountainous tropical forest. This work is currently focused on Puerto Rico. I aim to understand how the combined effect of currents and waves influence how the water level changes at the shoreline. Slow motion video of green waves crashing on a sandy beach and turning to white sea spray. 60% of the beaches are eroding on the island. A map of Punta Avero, Luisa, showing shoreline positions retreating from 1950 to 2018. Making the island more susceptible to coastal hazards. Exposed foundation, dislodged concrete slabs, and homes and condos leaning into the sea in an area of severe coastal erosion. Like the impact of Hurricane Maria in 2017 that hit the island. Time series satellite imagery shows positions of Hurricanes Jose and Maria and Tropical Storm Lee in the Atlantic in September 2017. Maria passes over the island of Puerto Rico. The USGS currently has a total water level forecast on sandy beaches that serve the eastern coast of the United States and the Gulf of Mexico. Map of Florida with the west coast highlighted in orange and red dots. A cross-section schematic of a beach in Madeira Beach, Florida, shows water levels going up and down and overtopping the dunes during a period from September 10th to September 16th, 2017. Map of U.S. Atlantic and Gulf of Mexico coasts shows many areas highlighted in different colors, showing coverage of the total water level and coastal change forecast. But we're working on expanding this effort to Puerto Rico, which is characterized by sandy, rocky, and reef coastline. Aerial footage of a sandy beach lined with a rocky breakwater and many large homes. Aerial footage of two people snorkeling on a tropical coral reef. So to accomplish this effort, we need to install cameras. Still photo of four people helping to mount a metal bracket on the roof of a building near the coast. Video pans up a pole that has a set of cameras and a weather vane near tropical trees. Close up of camera showing a sandy tropical background. And these cameras will take pictures of the beach that can be accessed in real time remotely from our office in St. Petersburg. Scrolling down a web page that shows a map of the Puerto Rico coast and multiple live views from the coastal cameras. Views show a calm sandy beach with palm trees. In addition, we need instruments uh, in the water. So for this reason, we deploy oceanographic instruments uh, to better understand how waves move across coral reefs into the shorelines. Underwater footage of Legna and another scientist in scuba gear assembling a sensor and an anchor from which to mount oceanographic instruments. View from under the surface of the water moves to the surface where a yellow pyramid-shaped buoy with solar panels floats, attached to an underwater anchor by a yellow line. With this information, we can measure waves before they reach the reef. Aerial view of waves moving across a reef. Many waves breaking on a coral reef away from a tropical shoreline. To study how the reef helps dissipate wave energy and to develop the water level forecast for the island. Legna holds a piece of paper up in front of an audience of Puerto Rico residents, then is shown explaining a visual sand erosion exhibit to the public. This project aims of connecting with local stakeholders to learn about their priorities, and we want to improve communication. Finally, we want to create a pathway for future collaborations that will benefit uh, underserved communities. One of the lessons learned is the need for Puerto Rico-related information from USGS to be more accessible and easier to find. USGS website, 
Puerto Rico hazards, with a rotating image displaying different themes, coastal, earthquakes, hurricanes, landslides, tsunamis, water resources, and ecosystems and environmental contaminants. We created a website available both in English and Spanish, uh, where we gather all USGS natural hazard resources that are available to Puerto Rico. So this is a step forward to facilitate information to residents of the island that could help them uh, prepare for natural hazards. Legna and team in hats and life vests on a boat driving by a fort on the edge of a tropical island. The most rewarding part of working at the USGS is that I have the opportunity to do research here in Puerto Rico. Geonarrative, shoreline changes in Puerto Rico, shows a map zoomed in to San Juan showing various shorelines from 1901 to 2018. I'm able to advance science in coastal topics that could be beneficial for managers and increase resiliency and, and prepare for future natural hazards. Drone footage of flooded streets and damaged homes in a tropical landscape. Palm trees blowing in strong winds in front of the ocean displaying rough waves. Also, I'm able to bridge the gap between the physical science I do. Legna assists with setting up equipment on a fellow scientist's backpack while they stand on a sandy beach. Um, and creating resources that are accessible to the community in my island. I'm excited to be able to do research in my native home of Puerto Rico. Drone footage of the mountainous Puerto Rico coastline and calm waves under a pink and orange sunset sky. Doing research in the place that you were born and raised uh, adds a sense of ownership and excitement. Uh, so I give it all my heart to be able to provide products that will help the island. USGS, science for a changing world.